Okay, so now it's my buddy Cuervo's turn to give his EDC rundown. Now, Cuervo is a man of few words, so I'll be doing the talking for him. So let's go ahead and get started with your hat, Cuervo. Okay, now check this baby out. Now, this is the exact same hat uh, and model as mine is. This is uh, from the company Brixton. This is the Thorpe II. However, you could see that Cuervo's is a little different. He got, of course, the black, and he customized him his, his with a an extra headband that runs down with the feather of, what is that? That's a raven feather. And as you can see, the brim is a little bit more straight on his than mine because you can alter yours. You can shape it the way you want. So he's going for more of a bolero straight brim than mine is. But uh, yeah, so that one, once again, being 100% cotton, it's good for a year round. However, he might need something a little bit more specialized for this type of weather and elevation. So he'll show that later. But a really cool hat. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about your poncho. Now this poncho was recently given to him by his mom. His mother gave him the poncho. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is, to be honest. We're not sure. But uh, it's really cool. Um, it helps. You know, of course, he's going to need a coat and everything other than that. But other than, like, it's pretty good for blocking wind. So, you know, a very old Wild West. Look at that. He's this close to making a movie. We need Sergio Leone to come back and start making movies. Okay, so the poncho's down as, as well as the haversack. So let's go ahead and talk about what you're carrying on you. Okay, yeah, that's a... What is it? Swiss Tech? What is it? That company that um, Victorinox has. So it's a cool little windbreaker. Got his lighter right there. Zippo. Cigarettes. Oh, leather band. Now, this band was made by Howling Dingo, which I was talking about that he sent me his the kangaroo pouch as well as the Baco Laplander sheath. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, it's just for an imitation, but that's really cool. So that's cool. And, of course, a band because Corvo has long hair. Now, later on at night, it gets really cold where the Swiss gear, uh, small windbreaker, whatever you call it underneath, and the poncho might, be not, might not be strong enough. So he does have this thicker jacket. Now, this is a heavy jacket. The company says Frightliner. And, uh, yeah, it's just a thicker jacket. It helps, you know, just block the wind. It's, gonna, it's more insulated. So, yeah, later on at night, it gets really cold. Right now, it's not too bad, but later on, it does get pretty cold. So that's the jacket that he's wearing. And I don't believe you have anything in that one, right? No? All right, cool. Moving down to the belt. Keys, of course. With the Witcher medallion. I didn't know what kind of medallion it was last time to when we did our summer EDC rundown. And I was corrected by like 10 viewers. So, uh, yeah, Witcher. I'm not too familiar with that game. This is new. That's, uh, I'm not sure what company, do you know what company made that? It's like an off-brand one. It's like an off-brand, but this is a leather, um, you know, the leather EDC type pouches. And it has a, he's got a lighter, big lighter, the Swiss Army knife, pull out the Swiss Army knife, that, the classic Trekker, which is just an outstanding blade. We have a review on that. Really good. It has a can opener, bottle opener, all, a knife. All kinds of stuff. Bandana. Bandana. And then your flashlight. All right. That's the Thrunite TC15. We reviewed that one last year. Really great little EDC light. It gets a little bit large, uh, at least for me and my for my taste. But once again, for winter, you're able to carry bigger things since you have coats and all that stuff. So illumination right there. the two arrows canyon knife we also reviewed this blade two arrows is a small company based out of california makes incredible little knives check that out that looks so awesome i love the patterns here 90 degree spine it's 01 tool steel scandy grind so yeah check out two arrows on instagram he makes some incredible stuff and then behind you 
Okay, that's his wallet, and he made that leather band. Move your arm. That's really cool. So he's got a leather wallet. What company is that? Brixton. Brixton, same as the hat. iPhone 8, same as mine, but of course I, we're, I'm using mine to film. But yeah, iPhone 8 is really good. Takes great video, great pictures. And that's about it for your upper body. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, from here on, let's go ahead and move on to the haversack. All right, let's go ahead and talk about his haversack. Now this haversack, it's the Hidden Woodsman, but this is a prototype model that was just a one-off and I mean it is awesome very similar somewhat similar to uh, the new one that I have but it still has a lot of cues from the older design the more old-fashioned haversack but just kind of it's the mi the missing link you know it's the bridge between his traditional haversack and my more modernized Eisenhower one but uh, really nice give it a little world around now the difference between his and mine. One of the big differences is his still has molly straps on the side so you can attach things, which he did. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about your gloves first. Once again, being in cold environments at nighttime, the weather, the I mean, the climate just drops really bad. So you want to keep your hands warm. Okay, so we got gloves. Okay, and then you attached um, the holder for your thermos. And this thermos is awesome. This thing is a beast. Um, we heated up water the other night, and we ended up leaving this out for a couple hours. And, you know, it was exposed to the ice, the elements, the snow, and it still kept the water warm for hours. So that's really good. And especially right now when it's really cold, warm water comes in handy especially when you're trying to like wash your face wash your hands wash you know all the stuff and you don't want to you know you don't want to get wet with cold water so uh he attached that for his drinking container let's move it off to the side that is the through night holster the i'm sorry the sheath for his through night tc15 so in case he wants to switch it you know and put it away in his haversack there it is Then a pouch attached, butane for the Zippo, clear eyes, uh, what do you call those, eye for your eyes, I forget what they're called, eye drops. Spare Zippo, so an extra ignition source. Neosporin. That's it. And that's it for here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. Okay, as we were talking about earlier, you know, we have our hats, our Brixton hats. However, they may not meet the requirements to be up here in this weather. Uh, you know, it gets beyond freezing point at night. So he has a beanie to switch over. Especially while sleeping, you want to, you know, remain as warm as possible. So beanie's the backup headwear. Okay, so what do we got? Let's see the knives. Okay, here we go. Here is the Mora Cons Bowl, an incredible knife. Uh, best, I mean, I think that for 30 bucks, there's no way you're going to beat that knife. The Mora Cons Bowl is incredible. Scandinavian grind. And then it turns into a flat. Perfect for woodworking, carving, uh, food processing, game processing, killer 90 degree spine. We've talked about this knife for uh, plenty of times in this channel, but great knife. And then he has a custom sheath for it, and then he modified it by adding shoe polish. Uh, so it gives it that dark look and added these ornamentation pieces. So backup cutting tool. Another knife. Now this is the Green River. Once again, he modified his sheath with the black shoe polish and then uh, these ornamentations, these beads, and then pull out the Green River. 
It helps keep it. Um, oh, okay, this part helps keep the retention, keep it tight. Pull out the Green River so we can take a look at it. Love this knife too. So yeah, Green River knives. And I'm going to be reviewing mine pretty soon. Very simplistic knife, but I mean, this thing gets the job done. Really good piece of American history right here. Flat grind, really nice. A hidden woodsman pouch. I'm not sure. I think he calls that the fire pouch. I'll annotate it below uh, in case it's called something else. First aid. First aid spray. What is it? Antiseptic spray. Okay. Band-aids. A comb. That's cool. That's pretty awesome. Nail clippers. So a very, a very small first aid kit, you know, in case you just cut yourself with the knife or, you know, or get a splinter or something like that, a small burn. Then a little bit of hygiene products with the comb since he has longer hair and uh, nail clippers. Stainless steel canteen cup. And this is a light my fire, the spoon and the fork. I forgot what it's called. There you go. Some hot hands, hand warmers. These make such a big difference. Uh, Leo from Irish Zombie Nation told me about those. I had no idea they even existed, but they really make a big difference. Um, I actually put them in my socks, in my feet when I'm sleeping, and you can feel the warmth. So, uh, yeah, these make a big difference. Then Ray-Ban foldable Wayfarer glasses. Hell yeah. Some Bob Dylan style right there that's a of okay and that's a collection of juniper berries that he gathered here that's and that's about it for there an extra bandana Now this is another hidden woodsman pouch. Now this was a gift from Malcolm. Um, he sent one to me and one to Cuervo. And what makes these different is check out all the, the flora here. It's all desert stuff. You see a barrel cactus over there. You see Acatilla, which we have the video on its uses over there. A yucca, which we have several videos on how to, you know, the food source of it, how to make soap from the root, all that stuff. Uh, turn it around. Let's see what else we got there. Prickly pear cactus. We have like six videos on the uses of prickly pear cactus. So that was really cool. So once again, that was a gift from Malcolm. So it has sentimental value. I didn't bring mine, but uh, yeah, that's Squervo's. And that's his fire kit. Okay, so I see a ferro rod there. A char tin. A backup lighter. Paracord, and that, that's the fin wolf, right? The cold steel fin wolf. So an extra cutting blade right there, and that's one of the rare Scandinavian grind folding knives that can be found that don't cost a fortune. Okay, now in this pocket we have. Oh, that is that one of the folding stoves? Yeah. Yeah, a little folding stove right there. It's fire ant, I think. Fire ant. A little shovel. I forgot what the exact name of those things are, but that's pretty cool. It definitely comes in handy when you're digging holes or trying to dig up roots. The spade, that's what it's called. Mm. That's it for that's it. Right. And that's about it. Okay, let's open that last little pouch. 
the last compartment charger for your phone for the iPhone another Zippo smaller one. oh yeah that's a smaller one so yeah definitely we have plenty of lighters in this pack and a notepad I'll check out that sticker the hidden woodsman that's cool El Cheapo Emergency Poncho in case it rains. Yeah, there we go. And a flasks. That that's really cool. I like all the scratches and stuff. I mean, that gives it a lot of personality. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Check out all the stuff that he was able to fit into that pack. And as you saw, he's got plenty of knives. He's got plenty of lighters. He's got his, uh, he's got paracord. He's got his container, his container right there, the hand warmer and the poncho to help keep him warm. Uh, you saw some parts for um, a small first aid kit. You know, very very simple, mainly for scrapes and cuts and stuff like that. But you know, it helps out. So uh, that's a good amount of stuff that you can fit in that bag. All right, guys, well, that's a rundown for our EDC update for the winter time, especially out here doing some winter camping. So as you can tell, we really upped our game when it comes to being prepared for the cold. And then, of course, we have new gear. We got a, a bunch of new stuff, so really wanted to show it off. There's plenty of reviews coming soon. We just got to test some, the stuff out first. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will post down below uh, links to certain things that are sold in our Amazon store in case you want to purchase them. And that way they're there and that helps throws a couple cents our way uh, so it helps us get out more have more adventures make more content for you guys so go ahead and comment down below if you have any questions give us a like if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next week with another video now go outside and get your boots dirty mm -hmm.